I'm Sue Jennett, I'm celiac, and I eat a strict gluten-free diet, and I love to bake. So much so that I operated a gluten-free bakery for over 10 years, and now I'm anxious to share my tips, techniques, and recipes with you, so you too can bake gluten-free at home. Today, we're gonna to work with oats. Gluten-free oats have been available on the market for about 10 years now, and I've been celiac for 20 years, so I was very excited to be able to work with oats. I've been using oats from a company called Only Oats. They're out of Saskatchewan, and they're a very good quality product. Today we're going to make muffins, so let's start. So the way we start is we take the rolled oats and put them in our mixer with some milk. And in this way, they can um, just start to open up a little bit and get moist so that they're ready to accept the rest of the ingredients. While those are sitting, we're just going to mix together our dry ingredients. So we're starting with oat flour. This as well is available through the Only Oats Company. We've got oat flour, and then we've got a gluten-free flour blend. And the gluten-free flour blend is available on my website. It's white rice flour, tapioca flour, and potato starch. So we're going to put that in here. Then we've got some buttermilk powder. Buttermilk powder or skim milk powder add strength and body to a recipe. The buttermilk powder in this case helps the muffins rise a bit and it also adds a nice flavor. Then we're going to add a mixture of baking powder and baking soda and salt. The only spice we use in these muffins is cinnamon. And we also put a little bit of nutmeg in. So Let's just mix this around. So back to our wet ingredients here. We've got, again, the oats and the milk. We're going to add some vanilla. We're going to add some brown sugar. We're going to add one egg. Always a good idea to crack an egg into something first, just so that you eliminate the idea of getting a shell in your muffins. We're also going to add some egg whites. We're going to add two tablespoons of egg whites. So let's measure them out here. Egg whites are easy to have around. They do freeze well, and so I often buy them and keep them in the freezer and they do last a long time in the fridge. So let's start the mixer going and blend these really well. Now we're able to add our dry ingredients. As I mentioned earlier, once oats came on the market that were safe to eat, gluten-free, I started making everything with oats. It's something that's very satisfying, it's a whole grain, and we don't often get that in a lot of our gluten-free baking. I was fortunate enough to be able to bake for um, a celiac children's camp that was sponsored by the Kingston chapter of the celiac, Canadian Celiac Association. And I offered them gluten-free oats on the final day at breakfast. None of them had ever had oats before. They all enjoyed it, they all loved it, and they all went home and told their moms and dads that they wanted to add oats to their diet. Some people can't tolerate oats. It's not the gluten but it's the other complex proteins in the oats. If you can tolerate oats, try and add them to your gluten-free diet. So now we have these well mixed. The last thing we add is oil. I usually like to add oil last to my recipes. And in that way it keeps the moisture in without the oil um, absorbing too much into the ingredients. There we go. 
So as you can see, this looks very much like any other muffin dough. This recipe will make 12 large muffins or 18 medium muffins. So for me, a medium muffin is about a scoop and a half. These will bake at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. If you wanted to add raisins, now's the time to do it. If you want to add chocolate chips, now's the time to do it. And uh, they bake off and they rise really nicely. So I'm going to finish putting these in the muffin cups and we'll get them into the oven, bake them off, and I'll see you back here in a few minutes. So now our muffins have baked, let's take them out of the oven. Oh, they puffed up really nicely. Really nicely. Look, and you can see some of the oats in them as well. So let me just oh, pull one of these out, open it up. Oh, these are so hot. They're too hot to eat right now. But you can see that they're nice and puffed up and they're really, I can't help myself, they're really satisfying. Mm. The little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg and the buttermilk really makes these muffins something very special. Oats, satisfying, eat these at breakfast, eat these any time of the day. Now you too can make gluten-free oat muffins in your home kitchen.